what's up y'all welcome back um today we're getting away from sourdough because lord knows i need a break from that and for dinner we are making one of jonathan's i think it's one of his favorite dinners um it's pork chops using cream and mushroom soup and onions and some other good stuff cooked in the pan um I would say this is probably one of his favorite dinners. So I figured that I would bring you all along with me to do it. So with that being said, welcome to my channel. My name is Linnea. I may be kind of on a mission to become semi self-sufficient where I grow my own things, make my own bread, can my things, do all, do all the things. So if that's something you're interested in, consider subscribing. If not, Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. If you're already subscribed, I love you. Thank you. And yeah, all right, all right. Let's stop rambling. Let's um go make some pork chops and soupy stuff. Yeah. All right. So I have a tablespoon of butter in my pan, and I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. We're going to heat that up, and in the meantime, I will show you. All right, these are the pork chops we like to use. Um, they're just the boneless pork chops. Um, I don't think they're necessarily thick cut, but they're, they're something. That's all i got to say. Um, it does say to set these out 30 minutes before you want to cook them to bring them up to room temperature. So I did that. And we're going to cut it open and season each side with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Just the cookies for three to five minutes on each side. They're not super thick, so I think I'll probably cook them three to four minutes on each side. Then I'm gonna take them out. Very specifically says to add one more tablespoon of butter with some onion. But for real, we are gonna add this onion. It's about half an onion chopped up. I'm gonna turn this heat down to like medium lowish. Let these onions cook for, oh my gosh, blurry. I don't even know how long it's been blurry. I'll let these onions cook for about three minutes. All right, now I'm gonna add, it says a third of a cup of chicken broth or beef broth. I'm gonna add a third of a cup of water because I have this better than bouillon. So I'm just gonna take some of this and put it in there 
and that's gonna be good. Okay, now that I have that added, hopefully it's not too salty. I'm gonna add our can of cream and mushroom soup. Super appetizing. Let me tell you all, when I was a kid and my dad had to watch me for the day, like if my mom wasn't home or whatever, um, one of his go-to meals to feed me was a can of cream and mushroom soup. Like he and I would like share a can of, he would heat it up and <laughs> we would share a can of cream and mushroom soup. Um, and it was delicious. I don't know. Now, I haven't had like cream mushroom soup in years, like as in a soup. Um, but when I was a kid, it was amazing. So basically we're just gonna let this heat up. And we're gonna add our pork chops back in. Let them cook for like five minutes in the sauce. And then it's done. Not forget to add these juices. That's the best part. Can you guys hear Jonathan in the background? He's gonna go mo. <laughs> I feel like half this video is blurry. Because it was zooming in or focusing on my arm. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this is what I have to deal with when I cook. Kevin just like lays in the middle of our kitchen and doesn't move. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Jonathan's going to try it for everyone. Oh, look, the Reese's. <laughs> mm. We always eat it with applesauce. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's like, um, I don't know if that's like Southern or Midwestern. I don't know, but we always eat pork chops with applesauce. So, do you love eating on camera? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Tastes like normal? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's super good. I would highly recommend this meal if no one's ever tried it before. Mm -hmm. It's definitely one of our favorites. Anyways, it's definitely delicious. It's definitely delicious, and I got your favorite beans. Mm-hmm. These are my favorite. Mm-hmm. The favorite beans. So, see you in our next video. I'm. I, I don't know what it'll be. Maybe <laughs> Jonathan can come up with an idea. Maybe. I don't <laughs> know. Anyways, we'll see you in the next one. Bye.